Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS. Today I want to show you a nice little trick that allows you to uh, create a reference plane nice and easily. So say for example we've got a cube in front of us. What I want to do is um, create a triangular bit here and extrude it down. We could of course draw on this face um, and then just extrude it this way. However, for for this example, I want to use a reference plane. You can access reference plane through here, or alternatively, which is what I want to show you, identify the plane that you want to model your new reference plane off. Have that showing, holding down control, and just click, hold on to that plane, and just drag. Then release your plane. You will then see your uh, property, plane property bar on the left hand side. Click onto um, your degree. I'm just going to change that to 225. And I'm going to select my second reference point, which will be there. This isn't quite exactly how I want it, so I'm just going to keep rotating it. Okay, so once we've got that, we can just take. So by doing that, you can quickly get this uh, plane pro property bar out as well as see where your plane is going to be. Do that, and then now I'm just going to do the sketch. And select up to surface there. That is the model that we wanted. Now obviously this is not the most efficient way in drawing uh, this model. Uh, would have been much easier if we just draw from the right plane and just draw our profile and extrude it both ways from midpoint uh, from the right plane. However, say if you have a model that uses planes uh, to reference off and draw on another plane, this is going to be useful. You see, I've just created another plane, which then I can rotate the angle if need be, um, 90 degrees. Let's go there. Offset. This will be, uh, that's, the use of this would be very uh, handy in, say, big assemblies with many reference planes. Thank you for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider.